Hello guys, I recently received this comment on my main channel Laravel Daily about managing homepage sections, for example, for recipes. And this is, by the way, how my voice sounds like the next day after I get back from a conference like Laracon or Laravel Live UK it was this time. But I still want to answer the question and shoot this video, so bear with my voice for today at least. And also Filament 4 Beta is out and I will have separate videos about that in the following days, so subscribe to the channel. Anyway, several homepage section with recipes and I created exactly something like that. I asked Cursor to create that simple design and then the code is for those sections from the database which are manageable by filament admin panel. So this is exactly what I want to show you the code of that. So you have homepage sections and for example you can click here and drag them around. Latest recipes are now on top and if we refresh the homepage it's indeed here on top. Also you can show or hide the sections so visible false. We we'll refresh the homepage and it's not here anymore. So how does that work in the code? It reminds me a bit of YouTube Studio where I can manage the video section. So for example, latest video, popular videos, or add more sections or reorder them. So similar to this. First, let's take a look at the database structure. So homepage sections is the table name and it is defined by type, category slug if relevant, and then the order for reorderable, visible or not, and how many records to show. So even that is customizable so you can change that limit for to something else. Also then there are recipes and recipes are well fake data but one of the columns is category ID. So one of the categories is meat dishes as in the initial question and we show that on the home page but we can choose any other category. So for example when you edit the section you can choose the type and if the type is category then another drop down allows you to select that category. Now let's see the code and let's start with the front side with home controller and then I will show you filament in a minute. So we have home page section from the same database table and visible and ordered are local scopes of that model. So if you go to home page section we have this scope visible, scope ordered. You may do that in line or with local scopes to be more readable and shorter. Then from sections we have map, collection function and the main thing is this. So we show or hide the sections we put them in the order, but how do we get the recipes? And this is interesting. In the same homepage section model, we have match. Based on the type, we query the recipes with, again, scopes, or if the type is category, then that scope also has a parameter of which category. So in the recipe model, we have this category relationship, and then three scopes, popular, latest, and this is the main thing, scope by category. We provide the slug of a category. So yeah, this is how we show the data. Now the filament side. That homepage sections is of course a filament resource with table and form, nothing really too fancy here structurally. And let's take a look at the elements that we care about. So for example, visible. To enable and disable the visibility from the table directly, all you need to do is to have toggle column. The only thing we changed is align center. Then reorderable thing on top here is actually very easy to implement. All you need to do in the table have reorderable and provide the column name, in this case order. That's it. This is one of those things that are surprisingly simple in filament. What is a bit tricky in filament is to show hide fields in the form depending on other fields. So for example, latest recipes, I don't see the category choice, but if I choose this one, then we have another drop down. So how does that work? So here's the form method and this is how it looks. So select make type with those options. This is live, which means that it will refresh the full form after the option is changing. Then after that option is changing, we define the category slug as null, but then the category slug select below is refreshed and it has visible thing and also required with the same condition. So if the type is category here, then visible becomes true. So the actual select is always present in the table, it's just shown or hidden and required or optional. And that's pretty much all that I want to demonstrate to answer this question, but that project contains a bit more details so you can take a look around. I will put the code on GitHub for free in a public repository without any paywall or membership. But if you do want to support my work, we have many more projects that you can get access to in filamentexamples.com. I keep reminding you that currently it's 75 projects and we're planning to update them to Filament 4 
when it's out of beta in a few months probably so you can get all of those including the updated v4 examples later in the filamentexamples.com membership the button is on the top right that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos